back to other breeds like the duro purposes and the layers after the police starter we have to go to the starter the starter can go from the second week to the fourth week that is one month no 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 not not fourth week up to the eighth week that is two months that is a starter and that should be mashed that one is a must for the case of layers and and duro purposes for you to gain any profits any profits from there then from there you should go to the growers or growers mash and that one run is for more two months hence going up to the fourth month yeah when you reach their fourth month then you should change to the pre lay or to the pre layers mash that one prepares those buds to lay and with those you feed from the fourth month up to when those buds produce eggs to five percent that's when you go to the layers mash the layers mash only the mixing ration changes as those buds grow like a case in point is for the case of layers when you're using a hendrix five percent as if at four at the 40 second week the mixing changes but the type of the feed doesn't change i meaning we continue with layers mash up to laying off yeah what changes is the feed ration how many kgs or grams that you're giving to those birds per day and that is may be changeable on a weekly basis like i will explain after this then when you are done with such we can also consider a uh, feed consumption for the different birds different breeders have different norms and cultures of giving you different uh, feeding rations or grams per different breed but i will summarize i will just summarize for you with the Wakiso farm, we made our own research and summarized that for the case of layers, you can begin with 15 grams per chick in the first week. Then, starting from the second week, you keep on adding 5 grams per chick per week. As in, we are adding 5 grams weekly. A case in point, if you are raising a thousand birds, they eat 15 times a, a thousand birds. That will give us 15,000 grams. When you divide that by a thousand, hence changing into kilograms, it will give us 15 kilograms then when we go to the second week thus adjusting to five grams per chick it, it will require us to give 20 kilograms that is per day in the second week in other words you start with 15 go to 20 25 30 continue until you reach to 120 and 125 kilograms there you will keep it constant depending on the breed the more the bird slays more the more it eats a lot for the high percentage laying breeders it would require you to give them 125 grams per bird then for others it will require to give you 120 grams per bird. In other words, you start from 15, keep on adjusting by 5 kilograms per week. When I say per week, I don't say for 7 days you give those 5 kilograms. I'm saying you give 15, 15, 15 for 7 days. You give 20, 20, 20, 
for seven days. 25, 25, you give for seven, seven days those kilograms. Then you go on adding five, gra five kilograms per week until you, re you reach the constant of either 120 or 125 kilograms. Yeah. For the case of zero purposes, you may begin with 20 gra grams per kick in the very first week. Then you continue up to 130 grams per bird, like I've just explain, explained for the case of layers. When they reach 130, you keep it constant. For the case of broilers, it is not advisable to measure. If at all you would like to sell them at four and a half weeks to five weeks. But if you want, you want, you want to sell them at six weeks, of course, the feed consumption may not change as such. In other words, at four and a half week to five weeks, they consume 3.2 kilograms per bird. When you give them in ad lib, I mean when you're not measuring, as well as they consume 3.2 kilograms per bird. When you're measuring, but they, it will take you six weeks to sell them off. If you want to measure, you may begin with 30 grams per bag, then they keep on adding 20 grams per week. 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, and 150. They will keep it constant until they until, until all finished from the poultry house that's how we feed in summary with the mixing uh, i don't ad advise any farmer to go to analog when we have digital means of mixing these feeds when i talk of digital i mean it is better to use the concentrates because they are well balanced if at all you have good uh, ingredients sourced from good sources that contain no contaminants or any outside things like dust, stones, and all the like. Any impurities to do with that. Uh, it is advisable to use concentrates that are not too expensive in terms of a finished feed amount per kilogram. I mean, the price of a, a finished feed per kilogram. When calculating how expensive a given, a, a, a given concentrate is, we don't consider the price of the concentrate. We consider the price of a finished feed. A price of a concentrate may it be a bit high, but when the ingredients that you will add in are a bit lower in terms of uh, prices, a case in point, a certain concentrate requires a lot of energy content or a lot of maize than, has, than maize brand. The more the maize, the more expensive that finished feed will be. And the higher the brand, the less expensive that finished feed will be. So consider other ingredients to be added in a given concentrate and the price of a finished feed per kilogram to get a concentrate of choice that will allow you get some profits that is it about feeding